On Tuesday, September 6th, Sheriff Patrick Kalian was elected as the Democratic nominee for the position of Hampshire County Sheriff. He has over five years of experience as a sheriff and 30 years of experience working in the department. Kalian, a Leeds resident, collected 48.1% of the total votes, according to the Associated Press. Challengers Yvonne Gittleson of Goshen and Caitlin Sapita of South Hadley nearly split the remaining votes, with Gittleson getting 26.6% and Sapita 25.3%. Gittleson is continuing to run as a writing candidate. We talked to East Hampton City Councilor Salem Derby about the role and the impact of sheriff in our local community. So as a city councilor in East Hampton, um, I really don't have any sort of interaction with the sheriff other than through our connection um, with our local police department um, because the Hampshire County sheriffs actually have the local holding facilities so when people get arrested they end up going there. So it does affect our community but we don't have any direct interaction. You know, as far as the sheriffs go, uh, it's unique in Massachusetts how sheriffs work because they basically just run the jails. In other places, they actually do police work. Uh, mental health has become much more of a priority. Uh, I know that um, people who are coming into the jails who have um, problems with substance abuse or substance misuse um, are getting better treatment now. In fact, they're using even um, you know, drug therapy to help people get off of um, what they are um, dependent on. We also spoke with Yvonne Gittleson about her candidacy and changes she would make if elected. I have a lot of changes <laughs> I would like to make, starting with uh, upgrading the technology and modernizing the facility. The Hampshire County Jail is woefully out of date. If you were to step in, if I were able to take you on a tour of the facility, you would feel like you were stepping back in time 25 years. But mostly, I need to change the culture there. The culture there is one where the staff and the people in custody, of course, as you might imagine, are so demoralized. Um, there's just not much reason to want to do a good job and to work hard if you think you're never gonna get promoted, if you think it's just not gonna get better there, if you think you're not gonna get the services that you need while you're incarcerated. So the culture really needs changing. Sheriff Kayleen did not respond by the time of this broadcast. The candidates now look to face off on November 8th. Thanks for watching.